Hi, I'm Peter Knett here with Extra.ca, and I'm here with Dan Savage, who is here to talk about his latest book, American Savage. First, uh, you talked about in the introduction, which is very cleverly not really an introduction, um, about how difficult it was this time around to write this book, to find the time to write this book, because... You know, because of blogging. Because of Instagram and tweeting and all these yeah. other responsibilities. Yeah, that's why I haven't done a new book in seven years, because blogging came along, and podcasting came along, and tweeting came along. And you do it all. I do. Um, and then there's internet porn to think about, too. Uh, well, th that existed in various forms before. <laughs> I and mean, you're married for 18 years? I've been with Terry for 18 years. We've been married for eight. We got married in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia eight years ago on our 10th anniversary. Well, I mean, in the, you know, the eight years that have passed since then, uh, America's it's changing very, very quickly. And, uh, you know, from our perspective up here, you know, we're just watching something happen very, very quickly. I mean, what, what's going on? I think we've reached a tipping point culturally. Uh, I'm old enough and white enough to remember a time when uh, during the civil rights movement when uh, people who were white, uh, you, you know, we, we could go on TV and argue against integration. You could go on TV and argue against uh, interracial marriages and still be considered a respectable member of society. And then we reached this tipping point where you just couldn't say those things anymore and be invited back on television. And we're reaching that same tipping point on LGBT issues. More and more people are out. More and more people now know they know people who are LGBT. They always knew them, they just didn't know they knew them. Um, and that changes people's perspective. Look at Senator Rob Portman in Ohio, who's an anti-gay religious conservative and anti-gay marriage until his son came out. And then he thought, well, maybe I don't want to discriminate against a member of my own family. Let's talk a little bit about bullying and the It Gets Better campaign. Did you foresee like where this was going to go when you started it? Oh, I mean, it's God, incredible. No. I thought we were going to fall on our faces. I had no idea that four weeks after we put up uh, our video, the President of the United States would be making a video, that there would be already more than 5,000 videos. And every day, it gets better. My name is Alexander Skarsgård, and I believe that it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Life will get better for you. It really will. I promise you. It gets better. It's painful now, but it's going to get so much better. We adopted DJ at birth. Uh, it was an open adoption, so we met his mom before she gave birth, and we still know his mom. And it's really been the last 12, almost 13 years now. DJ's going to be 13 in March. Uh, it's been great. Uh, I didn't think when I came out to my parents in the very early 1980s when AIDS was slamming into the gay community that I would ever be a dad. Um, I, you know, it's becoming more and more popular for gay people to seek out parenthood. Um, do you have any advice for... Remember when you have a baby or adopt a baby that one day that baby will be 15 years old and everything that you and your siblings did to your parents when you were teenagers, your child will do to you. We have a, my partner, I have a 15 year old son. He's great, but he's a challenge. He's a 15 year old straight boy with gay parents. My son had to come out to us as straight and he was worried that what we might think, which we had worked so hard to tell him, you know, that he would probably be straight when he grew up because odds are 95% chance he's gonna be straight. We didn't present gay versus straight to him as this toy class, like a 50-50 chance, could be one of, could be like us. Um, and he was convinced he was gay when he was nine because he hated girls. And we kept telling him, no, 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 hating girls when you're a nine-year-old boy is evidence of heterosexuality, not evidence of homosexuality. We loved girls when we were nine years old. Um, and even through all of that, and with all that support we gave to him for whatever you want to be, he felt this, I think, allegiance to us and allegiance to his family and thought we would be disappointed that he wasn't going to be gay like us. Um, and he felt awkward coming out to us at straight, and it kind of broke our hearts. Uh, so, you know, your husband is very active on Instagram. There's lots of photos of him all over the internet and nice little speedos. Uh, does that, how, do you, how does that make you feel? It's funny. It's a real sea change in Terry. He is, even still, despite his exhibitionism on Instagram, he's a really private person. Uh, and now pictures of my husband are everywhere on the internet. And I don't have a problem with that. Um, I don't have a problem with people knowing that I get to hit that when I get home. That's true. Great. I tweeted those photos out. Yeah, I mean, they're really great photos. So thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. Um, Stop looking at my husband. Sorry. <laughs> and on remind, Instagram. Remind us when your book I'm comes. I'm off about my husband. He's an old man. I, it's just, he's old it's, enough to be your father. How old are you? I'm 29. Oh, okay, he's not old enough to be your father. Right? Yeah. Uh, he's old enough to be your brother. He's old enough to be my brother, so are you. Um, Technically. I'm old enough to be your father. I was ejaculating before you were born. That makes me old enough to be your father. Too much information? No, but maybe you should remind us when the book is coming out. Uh, May 28th, uh, okay. American Savage will be published. And uh, also we've rolled out a new and expanded version of the Savage Lovecast. So thanks so much for being here with us. Thank and uh, safe travels back to Seattle. Thanks. Thanks.